We're with Buffy St. Marie at the national event for the TRC. So Buffy, can you tell us what did it mean to you to perform here today? Oh, it means a lot, not only because of Truth and Reconciliation, which is very, very important, but also because I have so much friends and family and, you know, in, in Saskatchewan. And I've been working a lot with the uh, University of Saskatchewan, too, here in Saskatoon, so uh, I have lots of friends here. So it's really, really nice to see people um, have an opportunity to come together really over such a, a dreadful past that is turning into such possibilities for a better future. You know, we mustn't, we, we, we must remember what happened and make sure that it never ever happens again. So it's nice that we've been brought together uh, for a concert, you know, for, for joy, for healing, for sharing. Uh, there are a lot of people here from the university, lots of people from the community, lots of Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal people here. And you know, in order to um, close the residential schools, it took more than just Aboriginal people working on it. It took people from you know every cultural group in mm -hmm. Canada. You know, it, it took government and business and education and citizens and reserves mm -hmm. and bands. And it took a lot of people. To, and you know, it, it's still ongoing. And it's such a tragedy. Mm -hmm. And we're so glad that it's over. Mm -hmm. And so um, eager to, you know, have people healed from it. Mm -hmm. It's dreadful, just the breaking of the generations. Well, just speaking of that uh, cultural aspect, how do you think artists and people like yourself, entertainers, are um, using entertainment and art forms as a form of healing and expression to kind of reconcile these things? Well, I'm not sure what anybody else is, is doing about it. I mean, I hear about it, you know, backstage. And people, people do care, artists do care. And we all go about it in our own way. That's, that's what art is about. You know, we don't all do it the same way. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, it's always been a part of the show that I do to kind of inform people. Not because I think that, you know, Oh, you want to learn something? It's not that. It's the idea of you have never been given a chance to know about, you know, um, a certain issue, whether it's, um, you know, taking care of the earth or protecting, um, you know, resources or uh, Aboriginal things or the, you know, a lot of people think the war is inevitable. <laughs> it's not. It's not. And so just the idea of entertaining people with all kinds of music, love songs and, you know, dance songs and rock and roll and uh, happy things. And it, it doesn't negate um, the ability as a human being to communicate how, how you think things might uh, change for the better you know celebrate the good things and um, not be afraid to talk about what's been wrong